Hello everyone, I am Mithi Gürbüz. I am here to present Deep Metric Learning with Chance Constraints, our collaborative work with Olcan and Aydın Altan. In Deep Metric Learning, we aim to train an embedding function that brings similar samples closer together in the embedding space while pushing the similar ones farther apart. We achieve this by sampling batches of images from labeled datasets calculating pair losses that penalize discrepancies in inter- and intra-class distances. The state-of-the-art employs proxy-based methods where trainable class embedding vectors replace samples in pairs, enhancing the mini-batch with information from all classes. A common question arises, can we improve generalization by increasing the number of proxies per class? Surprisingly, the answer is no as eventually proxies of the same class coalesce into one. But then, why do different multi-proxy-based practices yield different results? Unfortunately, there is no theoretically well-founded answer, only intuitive explanations. In our work, we delve into these questions and theoretically characterize the generalization of proxy-based methods. As a result, we propose a method to increase the number of proxies arbitrarily enhancing the generalization performance. We begin by offering a fresh perspective on metric learning, highlighting that minimizing pair losses inherently shapes an embedding geometry. But let's take a step back. To explicitly enforce this geometry, we reframe the metric learning problem as a feasibility problem with chance constraints. These constraints aim to lower the probability of observing two samples from the same class being far apart or the probability of observing two samples of different classes being close. Our novel formulation is equivalent to the standard pair loss minimizing metric learning problem, especially when the pair loss is the contrastive loss. In fact, it precisely corresponds to a surrogate loss for the chance constraints. This shift in perspective opens up new possibilities for understanding and enhancing metric learning. Let's highlight a crucial insight. Proxy-based metric learning aligns with a solution to a chance constraint feasibility set conditions on specific anchor samples. Importantly, this problem serves as a relaxed version of our initial formulation. Rather than sampling from the joint distribution of pairs, we select certain samples with the embeddings representing proxies and only samples from the marginal distribution. This perspective allows us to quantify the generalization error of proxy-based metric learning by assessing how much we lose when considering only a subset of the chance constraints that define the metric learning problem. We have demonstrated that the generalization error in proxy-based metric learning is bounded by three factors. Covering radius of the proxy set. This measures how well the proxies cover class samples, representing the maximum distance between a class sample and its closest class proxy. Training error, typically very low. Dataset size, beyond our control and problem specific. Notably, there is no explicit dependence on the number of proxies. Interestingly, increasing the number of proxies doesn't improve generalization unless we concurrently reduce the covering radius. The key takeaway, enhance proxy diversity to boost the generalization of proxy-based deep metric learning. However, it's not as simple as adding more proxies as they may convert into a single point. The practical challenge lies in ensuring the meaningful expansion of proxy diversity without convergence issues. Our proposed solution builds on a key empirical observation. Proxies initialized by diverse samples tend to converge apart. Reframing the problem, we are now in search of a solution at the intersection of sets induced by diverse proxy-based deep metric learning. As we tackle a set intersection problem, we leverage iterative projections to address it. The beauty lies in the fact that each projection step aligns with a regularized proxy-based deep metric learning. In essence, our method involves iteratively minimizing a regularized proxy-based loss and strategically reinitializing proxies with the embeddings of new samples. This approach not only addresses converging issues, but also enhances the diversity of proxies for improved metric learning performance. 
Here is our full method outlined. In short, we train a classifier and update the classification layer parameters with the samples that reduce the covering radius most. This approach enables us to seamlessly augment the number of diverse proxies, leading to a significant enhancement in the generalization of proxy-based deep metric learning. Now, let's delve into our experimental findings. Our initial empirical validation on the MNIST dataset highlights a significant improvement in the embedding geometry through the iterative minimization of proxy-based metric learning losses coupled with the reinitialization of proxies with diverse samples. In the first result, we are looking at a multi-proxy-based metric learning approach which reveals a converging of proxies from the same class into a single point. However, as we apply our method iteratively, we observe a transformative effect. At each step, diverse proxies emerge, effectively reducing the covering radius and increasing interclass distances. This dynamic evolution showcases the potency of our approach in refining and optimizing the embedding geometry for superior metric learning outcomes. Finally, let's explore our benchmarking results encompassing evaluations across four prominent metric learning benchmarks with a focus on two particularly challenging ones. In our first assessment, we investigate the impacts of alternating between problems. This highlights a crucial insight. The key to performance improvement isn't merely increasing proxies for a single problem, but alternating to solving multiple problems with differently initialized proxies. Comparing our method with other state-of-the-art proxy-based approaches, the results speak for themselves. Our method consistently emerges as a superior learning mechanism, showcasing substantial improvement margins over the losses it addresses. Notably, it surpasses the previous state-of-the-art by a significant margin, even with the same number of proxies. These benchmarking outcomes underscore the effectiveness and competitiveness of our approach in the field of metric learning. Thank you for watching. We are here to answer any questions you may have, so please don't hesitate to reach out.